we are given a diagram of two intersecting circles. Given the configurations, we need to prove that the area of the polygon ABCD is as given. The polygon is made up of two big triangles, namely ABC and ACD. Because point A and point E are the centers of the two circles, given that AEC is a straight line, we know that ABC and ACD are symmetrical. This also means that the area of ABCD is twice of the area of ABC. Area of a triangle is half times base times height. Alternatively, if we know the two sides of a triangle and the angle between them, the area of that triangle can also be calculated by half times the two known sides times the sine of their angle. So in this case, B times sine of gamma will give height with A as the base. Because we are given an angle in the diagram, we can make use of this formula to determine the area of ABC. The area of ABC will be half times AC times AB and the sine of theta, which is the angle between AC and AB. We do know that AB is the radius of the smaller circle, which is R, whereas AC is made out of AE and EC, or R plus EC. However, we do not know what EC is yet, because E is the center of the larger circle, EC will be its radius, which also equals BE because B is on the circumference of the larger circle. And because BE belongs to the triangle ABE with some known information, we can try to determine BE instead. ABE is an isosceles triangle because AE and AB are equal to the smaller radius which also means that the angles ABE and AEB are equal to each other. Given that the angle of BAE is theta, we obtain that the angle of ABE and AEB are both 90 degrees minus theta over 2. So to determine BE, we can apply the law of sine, which states that within a triangle, the quotients of the sine of all angles to their respective opposing sides are all identical. So in this case, Theta is opposite of BE, and ABE is opposite of AE. Hence, sine of theta over BE will be equal to the sine of ABE over AE. From this, we get BE equals R times sine of theta over sine of 90 degrees minus theta over 2. This is also equal to EC because, once again, both BE and EC are the radius of the larger circle. Now we can compute the area of the triangle ABC which will be equal to half times AC times AB times sine of theta. Plug in the numbers, we get this. We can simplify it a little bit by factoring out R squared times sine of theta. The sine of 90 degrees minus theta over 2 does not look very convenient. We can apply a subtraction identity here. Because sine of 90 degrees equals 1 and cosine of 90 degrees equals 0, this simplifies to cosine of theta over 2. Furthermore, sine of theta can be rewritten as sine of 2 times theta over 2, which enables the use of a double angle identity to make it 2 times sine of theta over 2 times cosine of theta over 2. Therefore, the parenthesized terms we got earlier can be further simplified to just 1 plus 2 times sine of theta over 2. Because the area of ABCD is twice the area of ABC, the factor 1 over 2 will be gone after multiplying this by 2. So the problem now becomes to prove that the parenthesized term is equal to the fraction in the problem statement. The first thing you may notice is that theta over 4 is the smallest angle in a given expression. So we can treat theta over 4 as an identity and apply triple angle identities to the terms in the numerator first. If we group the transformed term together, the numerator will become this form. Even though we are practicing trigonometric functions, I hope the first parenthesis term looks familiar to you because it is tied to binomial expansion. We can actually factor it into such a form. And furthermore, you should know that cosine squared plus sine squared of the same angle equals 1. So the right hand side boils down to this. And the original numerator can be written as such. And we also see that factor at the front is identical to the original denominator, 
so they will be cancelled out. And therefore, the fraction in the given expression is equal to 1 plus 4 times sine theta over 4 times cosine theta over 4. And we can of course apply the double angle identity to make this 1 plus 2 times sine of theta over 2. This is exactly what we are trying to prove.